Hello and welcome back to Ultimate Minecraft. If you're only here for the diamond tutorial, go ahead and skip to the time on screen right now. As for the rest of you, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the episode. That is correct, my friends. You saw it first. That little speedrun of ours, we got three more wither skeleton skulls. Why? Because I want to build another beacon. We have the emerald beacon that we used for the iron farm in the last episode, but I would like another. And it is for today's episode that I did this. You've already seen the intro, brief, but yes. We're gonna gather diamonds, lots and lots of diamonds. We have a fair bit of them, but that, my friends, is not enough to build a diamond beacon base. And in today's episode, I'm going to show you exactly how to get a lot of diamonds really fast. Before we do, though, just want to point out the iron farm still working great. I'm I mean, there are no iron golems in it right now, but it is still working. And this is what I got in about an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. There's an iron golem. So it works pretty good. That That's quite a lot of iron. Um, I built a quick little nasty, ugly AFK spot just to use it. Um, so brilliant. Very, very happy with that. And... We'll probably be able to build an iron beacon as well at some point. Which will mean we need to go and get more wither skeleton skulls. But not in today's episode. No, today, at the very least, we are starting ourselves a diamond beacon base. 
To do that, we need to do a little bit of prep. We need a lot of shelker boxes for this job, so I have gone and prepared up 12 brand new shelker boxes and I've done a little bit of brewing ahead of time, as you saw quickly in there. We'll need potions. We'll need quite a lot of potions for what we need to do today. The potions we need, you'll need some puffer fish to make some water breathing potions and luckily we have a lot of them because you'll need some golden carrots to make the night vision potions. And obviously we are going to make these potions extra length, extra duration potions to help us save on some efficiency here. So you just add one redstone to them and then you wait patiently. Once you're ready and the sun isn't busy setting and you have yourself a bunch of both water breathing and night vision potions like I do over here, I have 12 of each, we need to find a swamp. If you already know where a swamp is in your world, great, head straight there. If not, well, get your adventure pants ready my friends because we are going on an adventure um, as soon as I can sleep. And I have chosen to travel westward today. I believe this is west, no this is east. Eastward. I've already traveled north in that direction and I've explored a fair deal of that there. But I don't think I've come east just yet. Direction of the red pointer. So this is where we're going today and we're gonna see if we can find a swamp within a reasonable distance of our home. And once you find yourselves at a swamp, this isn't a great looking swamp, but I take it back. What you're looking for is a swamp with a lot of water, shallow water like this with the clay patches. So once you find yourselves a swamp, go ahead and find a dry spot, then set up a bit of a base camp for yourselves. With a bit of a base camp set up for ourselves, we have a bed and we have 10 empty shelter boxes for random things, dirt, stone, clay. And we have one empty shelter box for our diamond so we can keep perfect track. But now you can go ahead and grab yourself a night vision potion and a potion of water breathing. Drink those two. And once you have the, the effects, don't forget to recycle your bottles. It's time to wade into the water and to find yourselves a circle patch of clay just like this one. Locate its center and from there face south. I believe this is south. Is there a thingy that says we're facing south? Yes, we are facing south. From there, dig two blocks forward, and then we want to go straight down. Now I know what you're thinking. Digging straight down? Number one rule in Minecraft is to never dig straight down. Under normal circumstances, yes. But in this case, given that the water is flowing down with us, you will never be able to swim in lava because the water will immediately turn into either cobblestone or obsidian. You will also not be able to fall to your death in a chasm because the water will be there to catch you and then voila! As we reach diamond level, we find ourselves some diamonds. There we go, just to prove the concept, I've dug a second one for you guys, live on camera. Voila! That's our second batch of diamonds, and so far, in less than three minutes, because that's what's left of our potions, we've managed to acquire 12 diamonds. We're 12 diamond ores richer than we were three minutes ago. So, we have a whole swamp out in front of us. I think let's go ahead and roll a bit of a time lapse and see just how much diamonds we can find by the time we run out of potions, shall we?
the irony. I hang my head in shame. Look at those fancy sneakers. That is right, my friends, I have died. And the worst part is I died exactly how I said you couldn't die in this method. I mined straight down and I fell into lava and I couldn't get out again and I burned and everything I had on me destroyed. Diamond leggings, diamond boots, diamond helmet, my first elytra, pickaxe, axe, shovel, my shovel, all gone. <sighs> on the bright side though, we were very productive for one hour and eight minutes, give or take a couple of seconds. That's how long the replay mod was recording. And in that time, we managed to fill four shulker boxes with things. But I know, that's not what you're interested in. No, no, it is not. You don't care about all those things. You want to know what's in this shulker box. This one right here. Well, before I show you what's in there, I have four potions of each type left. I only used eight of each po potion, in other words. So I could technically have still kept going. And I was planning on keeping going. I wanted to use all 24 of my potions. Alas, those plans have changed. So, in one hour and eight minutes in this method, we found basically three stacks of diamond ore. Now that might seem like not a whole lot. But remember, Fortune 3 does exist. So, in my ender chest, I do have some spare uh, tools, some extras. I at least have a diamond pickaxe in here so I can pick up my shulker boxes. I cannot pick up my ender chest, unfortunately, since it is a fortune pickaxe. But I can pick up everything else and I can hop on a boat and I can travel all the way home the long way. About a thousand eight hundred blocks in that direction. So I'll see you guys back home. Um, I stripped most of this swamp. There are a couple maybe in that direction that I didn't do so it's not really worth coming back here ever. Uh, if I'm gonna do this method again I think we'll find a different swamp. So I'll see you guys back home. Food. I need food. Oh, I ran out of hunger haunches a while ago. Oh, this last trek was a, a bloody slug. Oh, I'm so tired. But I'm back. And I managed to bring our diamonds back with us as well, along with all of the other loot. Hello, putty cat. Wow, that's a very bright yellow putty cat. Anywho, okay, that the, the shulker box with our diamonds stays right here for now. I'm going to put the rest of the stuff away, and then I'm going to see what I can scrape together for myself in terms of armor from our end raiding loot. Because I've got some things in here that might be useful to us. Okay, I think I have most of my things back. I have a Sharpness 5 blade again. I have a new Silk Touch shovel. I have an axe that still needs smite. Um, I've been having a bit of a hard time getting that. And then I have a new Silk Touch pickaxe. Um, wings are new. Pants. I actually had these pants in a chest. Uh, helmet is new. And boots are unenchanted still at this point. So I still have some work to do, but I'm very tired of trading with my villagers for XP at this point, and the skeleton farm is a little slow for my liking. So I'm thinking that the Enderman XP farm might be happening sooner rather than later. But for now, we can carry on with what I had planned for today's episode. We have one hour's worth of mining for diamonds in a swamp. My friends, the only logical thing to do now is to go down into my mines and mine, to strip mine for an hour. That's my face, hello. To strip mine for one hour so that we have a fair comparison. So, 
I now have my new Silk Touch pickaxe at the ready, Silk 2. I have four shulker boxes on me. I'm also going to be wearing a chest plate and not my elytra. And I think I can start the clock and see what I can find mining for one hour. To keep this as fair as possible though, I am just going in a straight line and the only resources I am willing to stop for are diamonds. Uh, all of the other resources I will leave in the walls and I will come and retrieve them after the hour to try and have a fair comparison because I didn't dig out any of the resources I came across while digging down. The only ores I collected was ores that I actually dug through to collect. So we're keeping this fair. One hour and three minutes later, because that is how long five stacks of torches lasted me. And this is what my axe is looking like. A brand new axe is looking quite hurt. One thing I can already tell you right off the bat, I filled up four shulker boxes and I have all of this as well. That's without actively mining out any ores. Strip mining definitely produces more resources. Makes sense. You don't have to run from patch of clay to patch of clay, don't need to come up and sleep as regularly and don't need to stop and drink some potions. So the amount of time you're actively digging is more, so you have more bulk resources. However, I'm not gonna lie, I'm very surprised by the actual diamond results of this mining expedition. This is what we got from mining in the swamp. One hour and eight minutes worth of mining gave us nearly three stacks of diamond ore. One hour and three minutes of mining gave us a very different result. If you strip mine, that is what you get. Yeah. That is not a lot at all, my friends. It looks a lot more definitive if you fortune the diamonds. Not even two stacks of diamonds from an hour of strip mining, but nearly seven stacks from an hour of mining in the swamp. That is a very big difference, my friends. So, that I think answers the question. Which one is better? Strip mining or mining in the swamp? Now, obviously, strip mining is easier. You can have access to it much sooner in the game, but mining in the swamp, once you have the resources to make the potions, definitely worth your time. There's a third shulker box though. This is all the diamonds I currently have. I had before the start of this episode. I have some diamond ore. So I'm gonna go ahead and fortune this up as well. And yes, I'm fortuning up my deep slate diamond ore as well. It's fine. The novelty of deep slate ore has kind of passed by now. So I'm just gonna pillar up with all of this fortunate and then we'll see exactly where our diamond count is at the moment. So, at final count, the amount of diamonds that we have, if we just throw everything into one shelter box, is just over 12 stacks of diamonds. That is every single diamond I own at the moment. Which gives us just under a stack and a half. We are more than halfway to a diamond beacon base. Which is ridiculously impressive, my friends. Most of this happened today. Not all of it, but most of it. Given the state of the episode, though, and how far along we are in it, I'm not going to try and build anything. No, I think the bug has bitten. 
I want to finish a diamond beacon base in today's episode still. So in preparation for that, I have 25 night vision potions and I have 25 water breathing potions. I'm gonna go find ourselves another swamp and this time I'm thinking I'm gonna go the opposite direction and go west. And we'll see how many diamonds we can have. Hopefully this time when these two shelker boxes are empty of their potion contents. If at any point in today's episode you guys do find yourselves enjoying it though, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and leave me a comment if you guys know of any other great ways of finding diamonds fast. Put them down there in the doobly-doo. We have found ourselves a brand new swamp. And this one seems to be significantly larger than the other one. Which is absolutely perfect since I came with significantly more potions. 20 minutes in, I learned that lily pads are as hard as concrete when you hit them from the sky. Okay, that's the end of the first hour of swamp mining this time around. And I've done a fair bit. I have gathered less overall resources than I did uh, spending an hour in my strip mines, but I already knew that was going to be the case. However, we've gathered up about, yeah, that's just, just over two stacks of diamonds in just one hour compared to two-thirds of one stack so this is three times as many diamonds in one hour that's the first hour I think I'm gonna fortune this now um, except that I think I lost my fortune pickaxe when I got creepered about half an hour into this well okay I'm not gonna fortune it um, let me do some math I've done the math, and with fortune 3 on a pickaxe, which I'll have to redo when I get back to base, you get on average 2.2 diamonds per ore. I've got a... I'm working on two stacks here, I know it's a little bit more. But two stacks of diamond ore at fortune 3, all the math done should give us about 31 blocks of diamonds. That's a lot, guys. I, I feel like my math is wrong, but if that is indeed the math, we need just over a stack more of blocks. Ooh, an egg. Eh, what? Did I just get four chickens out of one egg? I didn't know that was possible. My mind's been blown. Distractions aside, that means I need about another stack and a half of diamond blocks to get a full beacon so this is half a stack so I need three times this which means two more hours of mining roughly luckily for me there you can see I've died from a creeper creeper blew me up and I fell from a high place and hit the bloody lily pad anyway I still have a lot of my potions left so on to hour number two. Well, that's pretty much the two hour mark there. I just wanted to show you guys, if you're still watching, by the way, thank you. I really appreciate the commitment to the cause. But occasionally you do find a patch that doesn't have any diamonds. I find it's about an 80% hit rate. But occasionally you do find one like that. It's not really worth digging around because if you don't find it immediately, chances are it's not there and you've got a dud, which could potentially be, yeah, this, this one isn't, on a chunk border. But if you've got a dud, you've got a dud, move on to the next one, you'll save yourself a lot of time. But as we do end our two hour mining mark, that's about where we are. So I haven't quite doubled what I had by the end of the first hour mark, but that is a ridiculous amount of diamond ore. And my silk touch pickaxe is looking very worse for wear at this stage, so 
I think I'm gonna grab my resources for now. I still have a lot of potions left. But I think I'm gonna grab my resources for now, head back to the base after I've slept, of course, because the sun is always setting in this game. Sort some things out and get a new fortune pickaxe. See, maybe we don't need a third hour. We probably do, but maybe, maybe. A little bit of time later, I have a new fortune pickaxe named Riches Glore. I fully mended my Silk 2 pickaxe and we have diamonds, my friends. We have a whole lot more. This is everything we got in two hours worth of mining in that swamp. And if we go ahead and convert all of this into diamond blocks, that's a stack and ten more. We are so close. Oh my, we're four diamond blocks away from a diamond beacon, my friends. Four. Just four. I have to go back. I just have to. I, I can't leave it at that. And I still have potions. Okay, potions in my pocket. We're going back. I believe it was... Yes, this way. I forgot my bed. Again. Cover your eyes, my friends. You did not see this. And just like that, a third hour comes to an end. Technically, this is now the fifth hour that we have spent mining in this episode. The first hour in the other swamp, an hour in our strip mines, now three hours here. Now we've filled up two shulker boxes, and we've started on the third, in terms of raw materials. I've gone through a fair number of my potions. I think I had eight left, so I've used four of each. No, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, however this has worked, I can't remember how many potions I had. This is how many diamonds we got from this hour. So, first things first, I'm going to pack up camp. And then we're going to use our new and improved fortune pickaxe to see just how many diamonds we have. But that is definitely going to be enough. We needed four diamond blocks. I'm pretty sure we'll get four diamond blocks out of this. Unfortunately, it's gotten a little dark while I've been collecting my diamonds, but boom, that's the last batch. Uh, bed first, and then you get to see how many diamonds I have. Okay, I've tidied up a little bit, and I've probably not done a great job. Um, I'm... never mind. I was looking at a creeper. It's gone. Diamonds! How many do we have? Boom. My friends, five stacks and almost a half. We only needed four blocks. That, that's all we needed. This is more than four. That, that's a lot more than four. Oh, that is beautiful. That is glorious. My friends, do you know what time it is? And a one, and a two, and a three. Now the game is on. Now that he's not flying above me anymore. There we go. I can kill him. Uh, I'm probably gonna die now as well. Nope, nope, nope. I didn't die. Excellent. We got the wither star. The nether star. That thing. We don't need to talk about how bad of a wither fight that was. This episode was not focused around fighting the wither boss. That was last episode. No, this episode I was very badly prepared. But we did kill it without dying, so we get to make another beacon and then, and then we get to grab two stacks and 36 diamond blocks and we get to build a diamond base beacon. My friends, where do I want to put it? This thing is going right front and center where the llamas can see it and they can awe in my amazement. At this point, I've spent so much time mining that my brain is very fried, so, um, words are hard.
on that incredibly positive note, I think we're going to end today's episode. My friends, you know what to do. I've already asked you in this episode. Until next time, have an absolutely brilliant one.